Right, so far our website looks like this. This is the home page. And what I want to do next in this area here, I want to add some testimonials. So first off, I go and click here, it says Enable Visual Builder. And if I scroll down the screen a bit, I want to insert the testimonials here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to insert a new section. Now first of all I'll just insert a text section and I'll just simply have the word testimonials. At the moment it doesn't stand out too well so first off I'm going to align this to the center and then I'm going to go up here and mark it as a heading too and we'll also make it bold so it stands out a bit then I'll click here so I've got the uh, the word testimonials there within this section the next thing I want to do is actually insert the testimonial itself now what I want to do next is to insert a new row and in this case instead of the standard one I'm gonna have this three column row so I can have three testimonials so I'll click here and within this first column here what I need to do is scroll down to where it says testimonials there we go so I click on that and then I need to add the name job title company name uh, if they're appropriate and then when we come down here I need to put the actual testimonial in there and then I can add an image of the person given the testimonial so first off I'm going to click here where it says name goes here and I'm just going to insert a name then I can insert a job title, something like owner. And then I can put a company name, something like Perth Aircon. And if I come down here to where the testimonial goes, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert some fake Latin. If you check out my uh, WordPress course, you can see how to get this. So I'll just click within the existing con content, press Ctrl A to select it, and I'll paste my fake Latin in. So if I just move this over here, this is what it's looking like so far. We've got the quotation mark, we've got a placeholder for a picture, we've got the uh, testimonial itself, then we've got the name, the position of the company, and the name of the, the company. So the next thing we can do is we can add a picture, which will go here. So if I come down a bit to where it says image, I've already uploaded a couple of images from Pixabay. So I'll click here to select one of those. So I'll go for maybe this one here, and I'll click on Upload Image. So now, as you can see, that's been sort of pre-formatted to uh, appear in a circle, even though the original was rectangular like that. So if I just click on the uh, Save Changes button here, that's what it's looking like so far. It's okay, but we can improve it a bit. Personally, I don't like this big quotation thing at the top, so. What I want to do, do is to go back in and edit that. So I'll go to Module Settings. And if I come down here and go to where it says Elements, do you want to show the quote, yes or no? I'm going to say no, which takes that quote off. If I want to, I can change the background slightly. So I can click here. And uh, we'll just go for Solid Color. and I'll go for this color here. That's a little bit too much because it's hard to read the text, so what I'm going to do is bring this down a bit. Maybe something like like that. And while I'm at it, I'll put some rounded edges on it. And the way I do that is I go to Design, go to Border, and if I just click to increase this, I'll put it up to 10 and click on OK here or save changes. So now, if I just come out of this, that's what that particular testimonial looks like. Now, as we've seen earlier, I can duplicate this because I want two more testimonials. So the way I do that is uh, with the, over the testimonial, I go here and click on this item here, which says duplicate module. So I'll click this twice. And then what I'll do is I'll just drag that one over here. And I'll drag this one over here. 
So now I've got the three testimonials all side by side. At the moment, of course, they're all exactly the same, so I need to spend a bit of time going in and editing them. So I can put a different name in there. So I'll put uh, a name in there, owner, and I'll type in the company name there. And if we go down here, we can go and change the picture. So I'll go to image, delete the existing image, click it and add an image. And I'll just click on this item here, upload image, save my changes. So as you can see, that's uh, now been customized. We'll do one more here. So what I do is click here, module settings, change the name change the company and if we come down here I can go and change the image so we'll delete this one add another image and we'll go for this one here upload the image and there we go so there's our three testimonials